And you've got to. Yeah. Are you going to take us to the ad break? Yeah. Yep. You guys are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> We've done this once. This is terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's fine. just have fun. Welcome back to Between the Lines, brought to you by Odira. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land on which the podcast is made, the Yarraga and Yugurubal people, and pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. This is season two of the podcast and there's been a lot happen. There's been a lot of change. We have a new co-host and she is a ball of fun. I know we're going to have a great time um, this season and that is Belle Dawes. Woo! Cut myself in. There we go. <laughs> thanks Welcome. For, thanks, Kath. Thanks for having me. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited to be here. And with none other than our guest, our very first guest, she is known as the Tackle Machine. She's our vice captain. She's a running halfback, an s &C for our academy, and just an all-round hype girl, Nat Grider. How's the intro? <laughs> two, big, two big intros. Yeah, I just want to start by saying I'm really grateful to be here uh, at one. Obviously, now I know who didn't want me on the podcast last year because I never made the cut. Um, so I'm just stoked to yeah to join you girls for your first official episode. Stoked to be here. Um, yeah, we've had a lot of change, Belle. Um, yeah, you got the big call up this year to be the uh, the co-host. How are you feeling? I'm feeling, like I said, nervous, but yeah, pretty big shoes to fill, but I, re I reckon I can do it. I reckon I can do it, Kat. You're on Media Street in this last week, um, helping uh, present the game on the weekend for the boys, so... Look, you're already, you know, you're already professional. I didn't know that's what it was when I signed up. I thought I was just going to be questioned. <laughs> Turned out I had to MC the whole game. So I'm more nervous for you're this. You're so I'm more nervous for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, you know, we've had a lot of time in between our last podcast, which was after the grand final. So it's been a lot of months, um, a fair bit of change, I guess, over these few months as well. We've had um, our off season. We've had people come and go. Um, I guess let's just touch on a little bit of that. How was your off season? Um, what did you guys do? What did you get up to? Well, I'll go first. Um, obviously got a bit of travel done. Um, we went to Bali as a group. There was, a, I think, 28 or so of us that headed over there. Um, and that was just an absolute ball. Everyone loved it. And then I went off to Europe for about seven weeks after that. So definitely saw a bit of the world um, in that short period off. But, yeah, loved every second of it. And then came back to lovely Brisbane to hang out with my housemate, Belle. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Love that. Well, that was in um, Europe. You know, we kind of started our pre-pre-season. We all missed each other, I guess, the ones that were back on this side of the world. And just for reference for everyone out there, Nat comes back from her first session of being in Europe. And like, we've been running hard, like working hard. And I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to beat Nat. This is going to be the day I beat her. She is in front of us all, except Ola, because that never happens. But she beats us all in running after Europe. Like, I just couldn't get over it. So. What were you doing over there? Were you doing some snow runs? Or? I saw this um, thing the other day on Instagram, like this meme, and it was like, um, when you can't enjoy your holiday because you're just missing the gym. <laughs> and like, I actually had guilt over there. Like, I physically couldn't just relax because I was like, nah. I need to be She's running. Gonna I need get to be back to it. I'm gonna fall behind. The girls are gonna train without me. Um, that yeah, competitive so. streak probably came out in that first Literally. session. Day. Yep, hundred <laughs> percent. Definitely did. But like you said, Kath, like big, big change, lots of newness. Um, our first preseason at Brighton Homes Arena. So I definitely feel like a whole new energy around the group. You know, a few new girls have come in and it's kind of just gave us a little spark. So Yeah, I agree. Um it's been really nice having our sort of full preseason here. Um, you know, we obviously saw a few of the girls leave, Em, Greta, Jessie, Lulu. Um, so there's a few girls gone, but I think um, that change has been really nice and it sort of opens up a lot of, I guess, opportunities and possibilities for new girls coming in and um, changes amongst the team too. So I think that, yeah, everyone's feeling pretty good amongst the group sort of leading into round one, two this week, which is really, really exciting. Um, I guess in terms of, you know, just in this last little month or two, we chatted about it the other day and everyone's been really excited about the World Cup and, you know, seeing, I guess, females in sports sort of take over the world a little bit in the last um, bit. Can you guys just touch on like how, I, I don't know, exciting that was? Yeah, and definitely. I think we can definitely, um, we have to agree that we became World Cup bandwagon fans. Um, we all jumped on it. We watched the soccer, <laughs> the doco that they published, and then after that we were just diehards. Yep. We followed them all on Instagram. Followed the Instagrams, went yep. to, what, four of the games in mm -hmm. Brazil, like did well to get around the girls and loved every second of it. But, yeah, just the, I guess, the excitement around women's footy at the moment is pumping and um, obviously, yeah, off the World Cup, the success that the girls had and people are actually more interested in women's sport than I think ever before. Um, we've had a few instances just being at cafes and things where uh, locals or, you know, um, older generations who probably didn't usually 
um, I guess, look at us as athletes and now sort of asking, oh, do you guys play soccer? And we're like, <laughs> no, but we do play AFW. Um, That's so awesome. I think, yeah, just the excitement around girls playing sport now is is awesome and hopefully that rolls into the AFLW and we see a few mm. good crowds for the next few home games. Yeah, 100%. I think so. Is it, um, is it true that you DM'd the Matildas to get some tickets? <laughs> I don't know who told you that, but... Um, Cannot confirm or deny. Oh, yeah. okay, you, get, okay. you get tickets, you get tickets. Yeah, there we so, go. Ooh, it's, it's about, it's about who you know, not what you know. Yeah, there Shoot you go. Shoot your shot, there you go. <laughs> um, and we've just finished up with 14 weeks of pre-season. Um, you know, always a hard time here at the Lions. They always love pushing us really hard. And um, how would you guys find pre-season? Was there anything that stood out to you? I absolutely love pre-season. I know I dread it for the months leading in, but once we're in it, um, yeah, I actually really enjoy the grind and the hard work and I guess finishing a session thinking that you're going to die and you didn't, um, it's always a bonus. Mm. So, but yeah, I guess people who stood out to me, um, the girls that are, you know, really vying for those open spots on the team now obviously stood up to that next level. And I think your players like your Charlie Mullins, um, Ella, like Smith, Kiara, Hilia, um, all those girls obviously worked super hard in the off season and came back fitter and hit some awesome PBs both running and in the gym. So it's yeah. very exciting. Yeah, 100%. I feel like for the first time in like, what, three years, um, the team hasn't really changed and now, you know, spots are available but people are fighting for those spots so it's really, really good to see and even just seeing a bit of their personalities come through, you know, just, yeah, so hearing their banter, a bit of chat. So I'm, I'm loving seeing that this preseason. Yeah, it's been really cool. Um, we did have a preseason camp as well which was a – um, a preseason camp. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Ooh. they called it, but it probably it was like hell, hell. Thirty six hours. Thirty six <laughs> hours. Yeah, is that what yeah, it was? Like that, that was yeah. We um had that early on in the season, which sort of galvanised the group together. Really, it was a really really tough. Um, I don't know. How do you yeah. describe it? It was kind of like SAS. SAS Would you say disclosure to the AFL? Like it wasn't that bad. No, okay, it wasn't yeah, that bad. or anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we actually loved every second of it. Yeah. Sat around a campfire, sang some songs. No, but in all seriousness, yeah, it was really hard. I think yeah. it pushed us mentally and mm. physically and brought us brought a side out of everyone that we probably didn't know existed. Um, yeah, it just proves yeah. that you can do more than what you think. So. Yeah, definitely. I think that, yeah, is what it's meant for, you know, to really just challenge you and band together and, um, you know, sort of form some of those memories as a, as a newish group as well, um, you know, moving forward into the preseason. So um, we also had a couple of, I guess, preseason matches of the mm-hmm. last few weeks. So seeing some of those new girls come into the team um, has been really cool. We played Adelaide and Gold Coast um, yep. in our practice matches. Yeah, that was good. I, m- I remember the first one against Adelaide. Well, it was only, what, three weeks ago, but it was definitely <laughs> Cast like... Your mind back. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like to verse an oppo again. You know, we'd done so much intra-club, um, you know, 14 v 14, whatever it was, and then to verse an oppo like Adelaide. Yeah, that was like, whoa, yes, this is what it's like to play again. And, yeah. you know, we, we went down, but it was good to see everyone in different positions. And, yeah, I think got, coming into the Suns game after that, it was like, oh, this is what it's like to play footy again. So yeah, definitely. Feeling really ready. Yeah, excited. We've done a lot in the last few months, haven't we? We have. I know. There's, you know, there's a lot to come as well. And there's only – although Dax said the other day, she's like, there's only three months to my birthday and it's actually four months, but yeah. her birthday is in December. But – it just feels like there's so much to come, but like in such a small period yeah. of time. It's the so, best part of the year, this yeah, season. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Anyway, um, that was a side note. But um, moving into round one. So we have Richmond mm. for our first game here at Brighton Homes on the Sunday. Um, I guess they came off the back of a pretty good season yeah. last year, finishing in that top four, fourth yeah, position. knocked out the second round of finals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So... You know, I can only assume sort of they're going to come in with a, you know, fire in their belly, getting knocked out in the finals. They obviously been improving over the last few years. So it's going to be a really, um, I guess, tough match. The first first round, everyone wants to sort of get a win on the board, don't they? 100%. And I feel like with Richmond, like there's almost this rivalry, you know, they, they got us last season yeah. early on. And I feel like there's a lot of respect between both those teams. So I'm excited. And it's round one. Like mm. there's always so much hype around round one. Um, what team's going to do well this year? What teams might not? And Obviously, with us, there's a lot of focus on how our teams change so much. But Definitely. really, it's a couple of spots. And I think at the end of the day, yeah, we'll all step up and get that 5, 10, 20% better individually. And I'm really excited to see how yeah, we go me for too. our first official game. Yeah, absolutely. And that's so true. Like, you know, we're all sort of so interesting to see how everyone else goes. Like, I think it's that, yeah. you know, that real anticipation around round one. Because um, they're... Is, oh, 
No, you go. They've oh. retained most of their lists like us as well. I was listening yeah. to um, their post interview with the coach after GWS and he was saying that they threw a few players around and mixed them as well. So I think they're kind of in a similar boat to us. You know, they've had a few pickups. What, who do they get? Yeah, they had um, Greiser and Courtney, Courtney Jones. Yeah, and Lily Pierce as well. So they've, yeah, got a couple of new people in there. Um, but, you know, I imagine they're going to come out pretty fiery. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's going to be on. Is there anyone that I guess to keep an eye out for in their team that you think? I'll go with one of their defenders. Um, I think Sheeran is a gun, just runs out of half back really well. I think in their practice match as well she had that real um, attack on the footy and sort of started a lot of their play from the back line. I think hopefully our forward line will be able to combat that just because we have some pretty similar players. Um, but, yeah, I think she'll be a real weapon for them if she gets off the loose, so it'll be one to watch out for. Mm. I think you and I, Kath, we've got a few in the midfield that we're looking mm. out for, obviously. Conti, looking yeah. out for her, just so mobile. and Yeah. yeah. I, I love playing on her. She's got a good good bit of chat on the field yeah, too. Yeah, she so, isn't she? A bit yeah. cheeky. Um, yeah, no, they're definitely strong um, through that midfield, so it's always a nice little battle um, going out there. But I think, yeah, it's going to be a great um, first round, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, but... We're going to head to an ad break mm-hmm. and after that we are going to find out what is in Nat's starter pack. Ooh. <laughs> hey Lions fans, we've got some exciting news to share with you today. Our official healthy hearing partner, Ordera, is offering Lions fans 20% off all their products. These headphones are a total game changer. Listening to music or even our podcast is crystal clear with the sound that's tailored to your unique hearing profile. You can even watch the TV with the volume at the perfect level for you. Tune into the game and hear the mighty lines roar like you're right there with us in the stadium. So Brisbane Line members, visit our members benefits page to claim your exclusive 20% off discount on any Ordera product. Join the club today and feel connected with Ordera. I have got <laughs> boots and gear wrap. And I'll boots and get yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Three, two. Boots and wrap and boots and nuts and boots and cats and rapping with cats and between the lions. I am not lions. I ain't no lions. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about getting music. Like, yeah. That is our intro. Yeah. Welcome back to Between the Lions brought to you by Ordera. So, Belle, just a quick little check in here. We're being filmed this time, which is new for the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, how are you feeling? I'm it's coming new. at the good time, you know. You've got all, all right. the bells and, whist- bells and whistles. Yeah. And the bell. Um, yeah, it's good. It's somewhat good. Well, I think it will look good because Nat's in here. Oh, yeah. So, you know, that's the reason that she's being called up. Yeah, that's, she's sitting in the that's what she I thinks. I didn't get to go on the podcast last year. They wanted to save it and then the camera never came. Save so the best looking people. Now oh. we're on. We're on. <laughs> Don't tell all Not my words. <laughs> <laughs> or Jade. Um, okay. We are down to our starter pack. So <laughs> Back by for, high demand. Back by high demand. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. So for the people that don't know, it is a few things that we just are uh, 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 iconic. I can't even say it. Iconic voice. <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> iconic. Yeah. Iconic yeah. for the person. Okay. So first one up we know for Nat is orange. The colour orange. orange. You see wherever she goes, something is orange, something bright, whether yep. it's, you know, her, clothes, shirt. Her ute. Her ute. Her water bottle. Anything. What like. came first, the colour or the fruit? Ooh. Damn. Google no, it. That's deep. Google it. Google Google it. What it. did? I'm not the fruit. You. I'm not telling you. Oh, yeah. And then someone just said, ah, oh, that's orange. Okay. Anyway, continue. I the like next it. one. First one. She yeah. is, this is the next one. Acai bowls Ooh. from from down to earth oh. or homemade Stop it. or homemade. Ooh. Wait, yeah. which one's better? Okay, well, when you hear the blender going off at five thirty or six, <laughs> we have a, down to earth. We don't have a blender rule in the house, oh. so you're happy to whip that thing on at any time of day. No one can complain. Nat doesn't put enough liquid in it, so it just sounds like a drill <laughs> in the house. <laughs> it is a little bit broken too, yeah. so it's not great. Start smoking. Um, <laughs> that's a massive tick. Down to earth acai bowl would genuinely be my. Um, Death row meal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're the ones with like, you can get the chocolate bits on Yeah, top. I don't go for that. I go yeah. for the, the Nutella. He's peanut butter as well. Oh, no, no, Nutella girl. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Peanut butter at home made. Yeah. yeah, 100%. Okay. Love, Love that. that. Yeah, pre-game Love meal that. as well. Superstition. Always having a stable. Easy. Boom. Go. Two out of two. Two out of two. We are going well. Third one is coming first. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we already mentioned it earlier that Nat is very, very competitive. Um, so... What do you reckon? I like that it's in the starter pack, but it's not really achievable in this team. So, oh, yeah. like, all is I'm never going to beat Ola running. 
and mm. I'm never going to be Kathy in the gym. So yeah, but you've got to make try. some adjustments. Everyone I will hundred percent try. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I do like that, especially um, yeah. off footy, away from footy, like mm. your board games, your card games. Oh yeah. Know. Your little mind stuff. What happens if you're not good at something? Do you I don't persist? do it. Yeah. I don't do <laughs> there it. She avoids. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not going to win it, I'm not involved. It, so involved. I reckon that's a tick. Then. That's a big tick, yeah. yeah. Bang. All right, the last one, I reckon it's a good one. Clumsy injuries. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> What's been your worst clumsy injury? Um, you the had one a few. that I was most upset about was definitely the mango, the cutting of mm. the finger. Because um, I cut it open and I was in hospital for like a week and had to miss a game of <laughs> footy. Game. That was heartbreaking. <laughs> like, I was like to my dad, I'm like, Dad, I just want to play. <laughs> we have to cut all of the fruit in uh, the house and she's not allowed <laughs> knives now. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, that one was um, sad. But the actual worst, I reckon, was definitely the tooth in the yeah. gym. That was like 100 kilos on my back thrown to the ground. Metal <laughs> plate. Oh, metal nasty. plate straight to the lip and broke my front tooth. Blood everywhere. Luckily, there was a dentist. I was in a public gym, by the way. Even more embarrassing because <laughs> people were like, what the hell is this girl doing? Um, had to find the tooth or fragment on the floor and then rush to the dentist. But oh, that yeah. was bad too. There's a running joke that Nat has to wear a mouth guard in the gym. It's, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's a crack up every time. It's a safety, <laughs> safety hazard. Yeah. So is that a tick? Yeah, that's really good, guys. That's, I yeah. like them. Yeah, four, four, four. It was four. actually kind of hard to choose now because I feel like you just, you know, you go through different styles. Mm. Well, and the supersonic foods. hearing, I'm surprised. Yeah, wasn't we we're going to put it oh, in, yeah. but yeah. that's okay. I feel like that's just to give it's boring. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Those Beautiful. four were good. Live. Love four that. Four four. Cool. Let's go. All right. Um, now I'm just going to ask a bit about Nat. You know, that's why you're on the podcast. Yeah. So Here I am. We want to you know. know. And the thing is, people do know you. You know, you've got this serious, competitive, very mature, but you can also be very silly side. What would you say is a side that people don't know about Nat? I think probably one of the sides people don't know about me is the side that Belle would bring out. Um, we have a oh. lot of like <laughs> carpool karaoke vibes uh, and like yeah. since moving and living living together, um, I feel like I've become a lot more of a child and I'm bringing that inner child out <laughs> that of me. Does it so I don't know if that, if that says more about me <laughs> or more about Belle. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that that part of it, like I, I guess like you say, when I do stuff on camera or any filming and I'm very quite serious and... Um, besides, I guess, a few pranks here and there. But, yeah, yeah I think yeah. that side of me um, is probably one that you know, doesn't get aired too much. Um, Belle probably sees a lot of it and hopefully there will be some. <laughs> yeah, she's very silly. Like sometimes I'm like, where is she in the house? And what is like she doing? What are minutes, some random things? She just, that she'll be hiding really under my blanket. Like my blanket will be pulled down. <laughs> like half an hour waiting. Literally to get waiting. Home. And we're like, where is Nat? And then I go into my room she scares me. She's like, rah! I just it's like giggling around just. <laughs> I know yeah. singing in the car is pretty oh good and God. just faces or just dumb jokes. What's you know a go-to I mean? karaoke song? Well, for you both oh, at the moment. We've I feel like ready, 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 ready. Three, two, one. Sprinter. The two and can yeah, yeah, I stop looking at the same song. <laughs> that's the same song. You're that's walking the song. around yep. the club and then you just hear these two somewhere they're singing that song. Yeah. Like we perform though. Like we we're do. Not, we're not just <laughs> amateurs. We, we practice, practice our routines at home. So maybe like if we've got the camera now, we'll get that on soon. But we might have a little bit of that. But yeah, I think that probably a little bit more fun. But then again, I do really like the serious stuff too. Yeah. It's good to have a balance. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, love that. She's a Libra. Boom. Yeah. Balance, oh, that's my yeah, yeah, sign. I'm not into astrology, sorry, but I do know my stuff, man. <laughs> um, okay. Well, what about, um, I guess, just thinking about a bit of challenge and that type of thing, like is there, what's the most uncomfortable thing you've ever had to do or learn? Like I know you've done a lot of different things, you skydiving, adrenaline type stuff. Like what, is there anything that jumps to mind with that? I think from a young age I've definitely been like a yes person. Like there's not much that I'll be like, no, nah, I don't want to do that or I'm too scared or mm. it's not for me. I think like I, I'm definitely happy to take opportunities and always want to try and I guess do as much as I can and see and achieve and just try out different things. Um, the skydiving one was really interesting because it's a massive hype. Like you tell people you're going skydiving and they're like, oh, my God, it's <laughs> euphoric. You are going to have the best time and you get really worked up and excited and I actually um, dragged one of my friends from school along with me who's not the biggest adrenaline junkie um, and she was a bit paranoid prior and I was pretty chill about it. Mm. I'm like, oh, what, what's worst that can happen? If you die, you die, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. You live um, with your dad. Yeah. Not much well, on like, stake, really. you can't really. help it at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> so, not in your control. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, I jumped out of the plane and I kind of landed and I was like, well, that was a bit boring. Like, <laughs> talk about dramatic. <laughs> God. Well, like, it's not. <laughs> but you get one or the other. <laughs> you live with your <laughs> The free fall was fun, but I think, yeah, yeah I just, I am definitely, I love adrenaline. Mm. I love doing things that make me uncomfortable, whether it's, yeah, um, something like jumping out of a plane or having a hard conversation with someone or doing something that I don't think is achievable and then, I guess, achieving it. Um, I guess, like, I did the 10K race 
um, in the off season and that was something that I was like, oh, this will be hard, so mm. I'll give it a go. Um, and, but, yeah, I think just putting myself in, in situations where I'm like, I don't know how well I'm going to go or I don't know if I'm going to win um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I love doing that sort of side of it and um, I guess on that leadership camp we spoke about, we did that um, abseiling and there was that opportunity to do the free, like catch yourself as yeah. quick as you can. Um, when you're hanging off that side of the building and I didn't actually listen to the instructions properly and <laughs> probably for the worst of me but I um, was just a bit too eager to sort of fall and I never actually caught myself so they had to <laughs> activate their safety harnesses to yep. stop me from plummeting to my death. Meanwhile, She's got her eyes closed, hands my behind hands her back. My head, I'm just like <laughs> happily falling to the ground and they're all like, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. You could have died. These guys were shocked. Yeah. Yeah. So like that sort of side of it I think is... I don't know. Yeah. I'm a big believer that when your time's up, your time's up. And, like, no matter what happens, you can't actually change mm. that. You just so live your life. Yeah, yeah just, just do what you can do. And do when, you can when do. your time runs out, your time runs yeah. out. Well, wow. Make of the, the day. most of your, yeah. yeah, opportunities. Say yes. Well, you're saying, like, they're uncomfortable having tough conversations. I know we're talking about that a lot in the leadership group. Um, do you reckon that's come naturally to you, like, your leadership style, converse, conversations like that? Um, I don't know if it's come naturally. I think it's just something that I'm probably – better at than other things um obviously like leadership's a massive spectrum of you know what people have their strengths and weaknesses and I think for me like I know what my strengths are and I know what my weaknesses are mm-hmm. and I think like I wish I was a person who was a bit more um I guess not compassionate or anything but I I saw that side of people a bit better and I could mm-hmm. um read people better and I sort of knew when to be have that more like emotional intelligence mm-hmm. um where I think the more natural side of it is the realistic part and I'm saying this because I want you to be better, like to get better and I want us to be better. And yeah. I think that part of it comes more naturally to me than I guess the more sincere and relationship building side of it. And mm-hmm. everyone's different with their leadership styles and obviously having a mix is what makes people good leaders. Um, but, yeah, it's definitely something that I don't even know if I'm good at it, but I think I just am happy to. I think you've definitely evolved in that. Like <laughs> from my time I've been here, like you've definitely just grown in that just immensely in the last like two two seasons I reckon. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think um, – like you say, it is something that you can always be learning and like that other side to it, that emotional intelligence side, like you only keep sort of learning and working on on those sort of things. Like we always have those, you know, your, your things that come a bit more naturally. So um, reflecting back maybe into last season, that was your first season as vice captain yep. and then going into this season, like I guess how would you reflect on, yeah, maybe your last season and then moving into this one? I think it's all about the people around you and um, obviously having Brie as captain the last few years has been amazing. Um, I learned so much of her because we also are quite different in our leadership styles Mm -hmm. and I think that it works nicely because you kind of get a little bit of a balance from each other. Um, But, yeah, obviously last year we had such a successful year and um, there wasn't too many ups and downs. I mean there wasn't too many downs but there was a lot Mm -hmm. of ups so things never got really too hard and you weren't really challenged that much and you had really good people around you striving for a common goal and it was almost – like achievable like it was so, we were so mm. close so everything mm. was sort of that high for the whole season um where this year going into round one like everything's up in the air again yeah. and you just don't know where you sit so I guess the yeah the journey of the home and away season that's to come um is unknown and I think that that'll be challenging in itself but will definitely be something that we'll all learn and grow from yeah for sure it certainly I think um you know having those bit more unknown like you probably coming up against a few different things that pop up along the way mm-hmm. and people you know learning to gel together and I don't know um you know eat, each week might look a little bit different like we did know last year I guess coming in with a very similar team and a really strong team too so but in the end it didn't you know it didn't go yeah. our way yeah. and um yeah it's it's funny how it you know, like it happens like that and Literally. um you know we, we lost it in the end but um you know the opportunities are always there as well. So I think, yeah, it is really exciting. Yeah, like I th- you say, coming I think in. one thing on that, like the other day we were watching a bit of Vision, um, just of our old team, I guess, and I was just kind of like, oh, my God, that's our team. Like it, it's gone now. You know, everyone says yeah. that. It's the last time you kind of play with these girls. So I know Nat knows this on my board at home. I just always write something and for round one and that I've just wrote moments because I just really want to enjoy yeah. the moments with you guys this season. Like that's what I'm kind of reflecting on. Like they go so fast but so, so slow. So. Yeah. What are you – are you focusing on anything on like specific for this season? Like just you personally or – On the oh, field, off the field. Question. Yeah, question. on or off the field. Um, I think all the stuff like on field with the leadership and obviously having new people come into new positions and just how we can, I guess, put our arms around each other and become this unit, um, this really strong unit, both in the back line defensively and then across the whole team. 
Um, I just, yeah, like you said, I'm a massive believer in celebrating the small wins and whether it's getting around each other on field or the dance party in the locker room post game, <laughs> like they're the reasons I play footy. And like, I would, I never want to change that. I never want that to change. Like that's the reason I'm excited for game day is because just the joy we have with each other afterwards. Um, it's Nat in the <laughs> practice match against the Suns and Jade's done this tackle. She's got like two Suns girls on her and Nat's like hinged over, <laughs> screaming in her face, like, yes, Jade! Like <laughs> yelling in her face. Like I love so it. Dramatic, I love that. So dramatic. No, but, no it's, it's not dramatic. It's perfect. Um, but yeah, that. I think that part of it yeah. I'm really, really looking forward to um, on field and just how well we can, I guess, increase that and go up that next dial to mm. just enjoy footy and that's yeah. why we do it because we love it. So Absolutely. may as well make it fun. Wait, yeah. well, last one. Mm. If you could change one thing about the AFLW, what would it be? Oh, my goodness. Ooh. I didn't read the question. You read the question. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> um, okay. You only one, live once. One thing about the AFLW. <laughs> no one's allowed when to When your time's no. up, it's up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go with... Um, I'm so sorry. This is so, no can worries. we just quickly cut and we're back? One thing I'd change about the AFLW. Um, let's go... Obviously, like you'd want the season to be longer. Is that yeah. is that pretty standard? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's your answer. Yeah, you, I think both in your court. Yeah, being a full time athlete would be mm. amazing, and having everyone in the competition be a full time athlete, not just like the guess the top paid players, yeah. um, would be really cool. And then you obviously get more excitement around the home and away seasons a bit longer. It's not shorter than your three month preseason. <laughs> um, That's it. And then yeah, you get a decent final series as well, and I think that would be really exciting yeah. just to see the growth in the game in the next few years, hopefully. What's yours? Really? Great answer. Perfect. Can you guys answer? Or? Um, no, we'll no leave it's that all about you. It's okay. all about you, Nat. Well, <laughs> <laughs> see, this is my first time and we always Ooh. do a fun little game. Okay. I thought oh, I'd be the quiz master. this is the only master. reason I'm on this <laughs> oh, podcast. I thought it was to be on the camera. <laughs> but oh anyway. God. All right, so it's it's five questions, okay? And it's whoever gets it first. So I need a quick buzzer noise quickly. What's yours, Kathy? Oh. Um, Nat, do you have one? <laughs> I'm going to go. What's a noise? <laughs> okay, that's Nat's. And Kathy's? Uh, God, what's another noise? I don't know. Just let it come out. But <laughs> no, that's too what? similar. Nat's no, is beep. You can noise? say Kathy if you Kathy. want. I'll, all right. Okay. Kathy's easy. What's yours? I'm going to go woof. Okay, woof. cool. Meow. Woof and meow. All right. Oh, Nat is right. the woof. Random. <laughs> all right. That's a shout out to Agnes. And ready? Here we go. In the FIFA Cup, the world game, Matildas v France, who scored the first penalty shootout goal for Australia? Woof. Meow. Nat. I actually don't know. I just took a stab in the Okay, come on. First, oh, I do first know. Penalty. I do know. Um, we were at the game. Yeah, because we saved were... and then who scored? Uh, Fowler? No. Nah. It was... Um... <laughs> Temka? Nah. No, it wasn't Kerr. <laughs> Here we are, bandwagon. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that is, oh, there was like 12 of them. Who was it? Kick on. You can oh, go again. Go again. Go. Oh, I wasn't thinking... Um... Oh, Vine? No, she was the last oh. one. Come on, guys. Oh, she was too. Oh, my God, oh last my one, God. Kathy. I'm just... Okay. Um, it was... Meow. I mean, Wolf. Ford. Yep. Uh, Ford. God. Bang. Bingo. Okay. All right. Question Shoot. two. Three goes. What is the common name for dried plums? Meow. Yep. Dates. No. Oh. Prune? Yep. Oh, God, yes, I'm so All right. <laughs> third, third, third question. In the Barbie movie, what does Ken rename Barbie's house to? Wolf. <laughs> The Ken Dim. Kendom. No. The Kendom. Uh, are you kidding? It's yeah. not the Kingdom. The Come on, Kat. Come on, Kat. Tama. <laughs> beep, beep. The, the Ken House. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I haven't wrong. seen the movie yet. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd seen it. Sorry, Kath. The Kendom. It was. No, nah, sorry. Kath hasn't seen it. It's Ken's Mojo Doso Jojo oh, Casa oh, House. Oh, my God. Oh, Kathy it. hasn't even seen it. God, oh, I'm a bit All out right. of touch, guys. Sorry. What does, what does WWE stand for? Woof. Yeah. World Wrestling. No, sorry. Close. World Wrestling. Entertainment. E entertainment. Was it your turn, Nat? <laughs> but I that got it. I got it. One to, one to two. <laughs> oh. All right. For the top, this is for oh, winner for takes Tyra all. Win. Tyra win. Who sings a song? Somebody told me. Meow. Yep. Gautier? Gautier? No. Oh, somebody. <laughs> somebody that I used to know. <laughs> Can you sing a bit of it? What is it again? Say, what's Somebody your name? told me. Oh, you, meow. Oh, my God. Kathy, um, Foo Fighters. No. <laughs> no, Wolf. It's um, 
It's a theme song, isn't it? Oh, Somebody no. told me. You had it. You had it. Yeah, that's you how you sang it. Avril Lavigne. <laughs> um, just sing her a few words. Somebody told me that you, you had, had a boyfriend. boyfriend. You look like, like a girl. girl. Come on, who sings that song? Oh, Blink One Eighty Two or something. No. Yeah, it's like one of those. They sing Mr. Brightside. Come on, guys. Killers. Meow. The Killers. Oh, yeah. No. Yes. All right, maybe I've got to work on my questions. Oh, really bad question. Maybe I've got to work on my questions. They were bad questions. Okay, anyway. I got one. All right, well, you've well, lost the first one for season two. I'm yeah, so look, I was very rusty. Not Sorry about that, guys. Hey, bad. we'll finish with a win at the end of the week. What do we reckon? Win of the week. <laughs> um, but radio. Wow. Sorry, I'm frazzled. Yeah, that just you flustered the loss. You can't handle it. The loss. I know. I'm stressed. <laughs> I just I need a win. I need to feel good. Um, we like to finish up with a bit of a recommendation, or yep, um, you know, a bit of a win or something like that. Um, anyone want to? Go first. Take us away. Take us away, Nat. Nat. Recommendation. Yeah, you're the guest. Okay, so this is a good one because Belle's obsessed with it and she okay. eats them all oh my God, every, every yeah, time I, oh. I make them. And it's then really she good. asked me to make them again. Dates. Uh, Open them yeah, up. Take the good. little pit out. Fill it up with peanut butter and then cover it in dark chocolate. Put them in the freezer overnight. In the morning, they're like crispy it's little Snickers, Snickers bites. It's a Snickers. Yeah. Healthy that. little Snickers. Really yeah. good. It's like a so dessert. Good. I love that with almond butter though. Oh, no, nah, I'm a big oh. peanut butter fan. I'm a it's butter. beautiful. It's beautiful. It's better. But I agree. That yeah. is so good. That's probably mine. I like mine. that. I, I like that. that. Um, my recommendation, actually, went to the markets on the weekend, the West End, because we yep. didn't have anything on oh my Saturday. I'm so good. I a better one. Oh, Continue. unlucky, yep. Mr. Chandler. You can take mine. You can take mine. I don't have one this week. <laughs> um, but actually went and got some spices, so random spices, but it was like a chicken suvalaki spice. Yum. So I good. Had we had them yes. on Sunday night, homemade suvalakis. Yum. The flavouring was just... So good. Mm. So shout out to right. Western Market. That's because I only shop like, at the Western Market. Yes. I literally bought the spices from there. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, so good. Because yeah. I only use salt and pepper, so that's perfect. Oh. Um, you can take mine. This is actually another one. really, really good one. The gluten-free banana bread from the Western Markets too. Yeah. We obviously shop there locally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, you cut a piece off, you put it in the toaster, you toast it. Yep. Then you cut it up into little corners, little okay. squares. Yep. And then you pour the blueberry probiotic milk on top and it's – Amazing. It's How? Really Nat good. comes home once a month. so random. Yeah, How did no, you even do so that? You go, oh, spilled my milk. Oh, my <laughs> very Trust me, I even told Ali about it and she loved it too. So oh, give it a go. Good. good for your gut health. Yep. There you go. That can be my recommendation. I'm going to have some for the season, but don't have one this week. That's all right. Yeah. So. Well, we made it through. Um, <sighs> Thank God. The sweat right no, now. The <laughs> stress. <laughs> we are done. Um, well, Belle, I think you did pretty well. Yeah. First, first step. Nat, how would you rate her? Um, I actually really enjoyed the combo, to be honest. Yeah, I felt yeah. really comfortable. You guys made me really welcome. Um, I'm going to give you a 7 out of 10. Seven and I think you've just got that little extra bit of 3 to improve. Yeah, just perfect. so that we can end on a high. Oh, I love yep. that. Room for improvement. Yep. Yeah, really it's great. I love it. We love Sweet. it. Oh, right. Yeah, thanks for everyone who's listening. Um, you yeah. should ask your um, the old co-host. Oh, yes. What she Emily, thinks. if, if you made it this far, you made it this far. <laughs> send me some tips. <laughs> send me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Um, but thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Thanks, Nat, for sharing a bit of your story with us. We've love chatting to you as well um you can subscribe to between the lines uh wherever you sort of listen to your podcast spotify apple Podcasts, or lions.com.au perfect yep and like let's get pumped for the game on the weekend round one be the tigers we'll see who's queen of the jungle um, that's it make sure you get uh your tickets as well memberships and tickets are available uh on lions.com.au we would love to see as many as you down there on um 3 p.m is 3 it 305 305 yep. at brighton's home arena and we'll catch you next week thanks That's for having time. me i'm um, yeah. happy to be back anytime girls so just All give right. me a buzz there we go <laughs> love it thanks, thanks guys, guys.